Hi, I'm Robert Evett, online editor with Power Engineering, and I'm here with Michael College. Uh, he is with the Susquehanna River Basin Commission, and uh, he has just given a presentation about uh, dry-cooled uh, systems for natural gas fire plants. The uh, commission is encouraging their use, uh, so why, um, why is that? Well, what we've seen is over the last few years, we've seen a dra drastic increase in the number of power plants that are proposed in the basin. Um, thermo power, thermoelectric power generation has always been a significant consumptive water user in the basin, where they use about three gallons for every one gallon of water used by every other industry combined. And we've st started to see about a 67% increase in generation capacity over about the last four or five years. Um, what we've also learned is that there are viable alternatives using dry cooling that significantly reduce the amount of consumptive water use as much as 95%. Hmm. So for a typical household uh, in the United States uses about one megawatt hour of electricity per year using an evaporative cooling system on a combined cycle gas powered plant, you'd use about 300 gallons of water consumptively each month. With a dry cooling plant, you'd use about 12 and a half. Hmm. Uh, so beyond just the uh, the pure reduction in uh, the use of water, what are some of the other advantages of uh, these systems? Well, what we've seen is there's actually um, a multitude of benefits that can be um, capitalized on, especially in the beginning when you're siting power plants, without the, the necessity of a large amount of water. So for a typical 800 megawatt plant, you need about 7 million gallons using evaporative cooling. You'd need about 400 to 500,000 gallons per day for a dry cooling system, and this affords the opportunities for uh, further site selection. You can locate in brownfields, um, you can, for redevelopment, you can actually find some locations that um, the government may, uh, may offer tax benefits for. Very interesting. So, all right, well, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.